All right, time to film a new video. Here we go. Of course, I can't start filming until I've drank my weird juice. Come to Papa. Wait a minute. Oh no, 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 no. There's none left. But if I have no more weird juice, then that means... So a lot of people were quite rightly very suspicious of me when I asked on Twitter for normal questions to follow up with normal answers. This is very unlike you, PJ. Has an evil worm crawled into your brain and is controlling you from the inside? No, actually quite the opposite. I don't know what the opposite is of that, but I've been a little bit overwhelmed by my own weirdness recently, so I just wanted to do a nice chill video, reel it in, and a some cues, slurp style. Mm. I love slurping out of Pikachu's decapitated head. It just tastes so good. All right, normal. PJ, we said normal. Our first perfectly normal question comes from Is Sison, who asks, what is your most anticipated movie of 2019? If I had made this video a few weeks ago, I probably would have said Us by Jordan Peele. I'm actually gonna be seeing Us tonight, so I'll let you know my thoughts now. Other than that, I'm pretty hyped for Toy Story 4, to be honest. Look, I know it's a kid's film, but let me paint you a little picture here. It's 1995, and little five-year-old PJ has just seen Toy Story in cinemas for the first time. When you're five years old, you don't have that many role models. You don't even really know what a role model is. But I just wanted to be Andy. Ah, uh, to the point where I would leave my toys on the carpet and draw around them in felt it. So when I got back, if they had moved, I would have known. They never moved, and my mum was very, very upset with me. It's Toy Story. It's the story of toys. Next, Nina asks, how did you learn to play guitar? Honestly, like most things, I just taught myself. Growing up, I was never very good at being told what to do. So I thought maybe I can just figure it out myself. I remember being 14 and I got home from school and I picked up my dad's guitar and I tried to learn how to play Chop Suey by System of a Down. And sure enough, that was the very first song I ever learned to play on guitar. I just looked at tabs and I looked at the fretboard and it all just kind of made sense to me. Oh, okay, that number means here on the fretboard. It just somehow clicked. And it took a long, long time to get even remotely okay at guitar. And when I realized I would never be an amazing guitarist, I learned bass instead. And I still like both bass and guitar. I think the key to learning any instrument is to find songs you enjoy and try to learn those songs. So for me, it was a lot of Muse and Radiohead. And of course, video game themes. <laughs> First asks, how do you like your coffee? Well, I guess I like it like this, still in the pot, unmixed. No, I don't mean that I eat coffee granules. No, oh God. I mean that I don't like it. That was a weird way of saying I don't like coffee. <laughs> I do not like coffee. I do not drink coffee. I don't know why I have this coffee in my house. Get out of here, nectar of Satan. The green tea though, if we're talking green tea, I'm all about the green tea. I've got infinite hordes of green tea in my cupboard. I'm not even, that's not even a joke. Why would I joke about something so pathetic? So come back to me when you want to talk green tea, capiche? Elijah has asked, I notice you stick to the same color palette and texture with your doodles. Do you ever think of mixing it up? So the thing with me and drawing is that over time, my skills and my style has developed and changed and I've learned a lot and I've improved a lot. So at the minute, it does look like all of my art is using the same sort of textures and colors. Cause I'm trying to master that as much as possible before I move on to the next thing. But to answer your question, yes, I would love to learn new art styles because believe me, a few years ago, I didn't even know how to shade. I still don't really know how to shade. But that's what I'm trying to learn at the minute and get my head around. So I'm hoping in like a year's time, my art style will have ascended a little bit and I will have improved in an area, which means I'm confident to move on to learning the next thing. Slap. <clears throat> Don't say it, just do it. Jace has asked, favorite movie of 2018? Okay, so we're on the movie subject once again. I saw a lot of good movies in 2018, but I think the one that stuck out to me the most, it has to be Into the Spider-Verse. Is that what it's called? Into the Spider-Verse. I'm always very conscious of getting that wrong. I was with a group of friends and we were talking about that film and I called it Welcome to the Spider-Verse and I was laughed into oblivion. Trying not to make that mistake again, but what is there to say? The art style was gorgeous. It was funny. It was really well cast. It was very self-aware. It knows that we've heard the story of Spider-Man like a million times. And it was almost apologetic that it was like, I've got to tell you this story one more time. Pretty much everything that Peter Porker said made me ugly laugh. It was just a very, very enjoyable film. Good fun for everyone, the whole family, even grandma. All right. 
Whoa asks, what did you do when you were on your gap year? So if you didn't know, before I went to university, I took a year out, I took a gap year. It was very valuable for me to spend time figuring out what I wanted to do. I just remember going full blast in making YouTube videos. At the time, that was the main thing I had going for me and it was the main thing that I really enjoyed in life. So I just remember leaving my job that I hated and I was like, mom, trust me, I just wanna try this YouTube thing. If it doesn't work out, I'll go to uni, whatever. In fact, just after leaving my job, I was given a bunch of travel opportunities through YouTube. I made a bunch of travel content around going to South Africa Microsoft invited me to E3. I went to Gamescom. I would say the risk of taking the gap year definitely paid off. But at the end of it, I was definitely ready to go to university. Definitely. I was starting to get very lonely, cooped up all by myself in Peterborough. And I desperately needed some social contact. So, so university was a fantastic choice for me at that time in my life. Yes. Spook Song asks, if you could replace any part of yourself with a machine, what would you replace and with what? All right, this is getting into the weird question category, but I have thought about this way too much, so I will answer it. Dude, I would totally replace my brain with like a computer. I'm a very forgetful person, and sometimes I struggle with reading, and my spelling is atrocious. So if I had access to Google at all times in my brain, I would never forget anything ever again. And don't worry, I would download my personality to my computer brain before I did the procedure. I have thought about this, don't you worry. I, you know, it might even make me a super genius, because you could ask me anything, you could ask me, PJ, what is the population of Texas? And I would just be able to say, um, I, well, I would tell you that 28.7 million. Whoa. Did I just note, did I just pluck that from my brain? Did I just, maybe the procedure has already happened. Did I program myself to not know it happened? Maybe I am a super genius. Like I could probably also tell you that the population of Florida is 21.3 million. Whoa, this has got a little bit too real for me. Well, I think that's just about all the normal I can fart out for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do a whole variety of stuff here on Kick the PJ. So be sure to check out some of my other videos. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm a genius. Huh. I guess sometimes it pays off to just put the weird to the side and just be normal. Hey there, PJ, it's me, your bottle of weird juice. I have become real like the toys in Toy Story, and I'm ready to be your best friend forever, just like you've always wanted. Wait, wait, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>